Hello everyone, good day to all of you. I wanted to give a review today to talk about the Black Rhino Concealment ACS holster, which is what I have right here. So you can kind of understand how I'm going to be coming at this video. Uh, I have a lot of experience with a various different amount of Black Rhino's holsters. Example here is the TCS, and mostly gonna be comparing it to this one because I did carry with this one for uh, about a year and a half, I believe, quite a while with this. Um, and yeah, a lot of different Black Rhino designs have all been really good for me, but uh, mostly focusing on the ACS and how this compares. So starting out very, very first, I will talk more about kind of the customization and the vanity options of it later, but this is a Kydex holster. And despite how it looks, I, I just wanted it to kind of have that fake leather look to it. It does look nice, I think, but purely Kydex, so it doesn't have any of the downsides of a leather holster with deforming over time or anything like that. As I said, I'll talk about kind of the design and the that sort of stuff later, but just focusing on the functionality of this first. So to start off with why I bothered to get this ACS, the main reason for this is because I am carrying this. This is a P30. Compared to my old uh, carry handgun, which I'm now replacing, this was a P320, so I needed a new holster anyway, and the reason I didn't go with another of these TCSs is because I do prefer to carry appendix. Uh, this is not designed for appendix carry. However, it is doable, case in point, because I did use it for over a year like this, and it's it's fine. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but it is still certainly doable. Uh, but I wanted something that was a little bit more low profile, like this ACS, and um, would theoretically also kind of print a little bit less as well, which uh, is a good point to start on to talk about the printing. So this certainly even as it is right now, uh, it does print a lot less than the old one did. One issue, however, is the uh, this kind of has its own little feature that kind of causes some issues. Uh, they have a little wing here, which you can't see because I actually took it off, but I have it right here on hand. So the way that this wing works is normally it would go right into these rivet holes right here you can see you can see from the side right there the way that this in theory is supposed to work is it's supposed to angle the holster when you're wearing it more in towards your body which helps it to not print as much and uh, it certainly works for that however i wasn't able to get it to really be comfortable at all this would always dig in to that whole area there and uh, would just get really really painful after even a short amount of use so this wing you can adjust it a little bit so they do make this in a higher and a lower height, which you can see I've kind of lined up right there so you can see the difference. Uh, just ever so slightly changes how much it's going to angle into you and uh, potentially make it a little bit more comfortable. So I think for some people, depending on your build, how your body is, you could maybe make it work for me. I really can't get it to work very well for me whatsoever. Now, I have had this for about two months now as of when I'm doing this review. And I am able to wear it comfortably now. Just, yeah, I can't use that wing, uh, which is unfortunate. It does print a little bit more without the wing, but still it's it's, it's acceptable. Uh, and I am carrying a full-size handgun, so it's always gonna be a little bit more printing there regardless, but uh, it's not bad in any case. Moving to the clip itself, I'm not sure how the regular clip would work. I did go with their upgraded version of the DCC metal clips right here. And I can say that these do work really well. They're easy to take on and off and they do hold it very securely to your belt when you are wearing it as well. Do note, although they do offer a lot of customization options, this is just a holster. It doesn't have any extra magazine holders or anything like that on it. So I could see that being kind of a gripe for people, certain people, depending on how you want to carry. For me, I usually just carry uh, my extra mag in a different pocket. So that's all good here, but do keep that in mind as well. One other thing I do wish, which uh, would require a redesign on their part, but I do kind of wish this clip was maybe ever so slightly more spread out, right? Like you had one side over here and one side just slightly over there a bit more. I feel like that would kind of balance it a bit better because although I am able to carry this and I have carried it now for two months, completely fine every day, uh, it, I feel like it would be a little bit more comfortable because it can occasionally dig in, require some readjustment just because it's right here. Uh, and I just feel like it would kind of spread the load a little bit better if these were somewhat more spread out. Maybe something like an in-between of what they have with their TCS here uh, and the ACS right there. One thing I do like about all of Black Rhino's holster options is they do have a ton of customization options, and that is one also benefit. Uh, it's really hard to find holsters for this P30 in general, but um, they do make them for pretty much every handgun out there. Um, but I was able to get this customized exactly to this setup. Now, normally on this holster, you would have a little bit more material right here. Uh, this is actually set up for an optic cut, which uh, I just haven't done yet on here. Um, just because I wanted to do this video first before I send it out for a few weeks. 
just in case it does end up taking longer or anything like that. But it's a really good fit, you can see right here. I occasionally, when I am wearing this, uh, because this does have the manual safety, this is not the LEM version, I do occasionally need to kind of pull this polymer a little bit further back and just kind of angle the handgun a little bit in towards me, uh, but it works fine. And this is also, I should note, this is the P30LS variant, so I have an ambi safety here. Uh, and I was a little concerned that maybe the right side safety would potentially uh, conflict with the holster, but uh, no. I don't know if it would maybe go up higher if you did have um, no optic cut, um, but you can see at least here there's plenty of room between the holster and that safety. No issues whatsoever. And they do actually have ample room on this holster, so you can be on fire, you can be on safe, it doesn't block it either way. To talk now about the color just a little bit and end off the video. So as I said at the start, this is not leather. It just looks like it. I forget the exact name. They, so they have three different leather-like options. Uh, this is the brown one. Of course, they have a lighter, almost tan sort of color, and then they have a, a black. Uh, this is kind of, uh, I, I like how it looks. It is more of like a, kind of more like a thicker grain, almost like an elephant hide sort of thing going on there. There you go. You can see the lighting is nice right there. But I personally, I just like the aesthetics of it, and I figured, because I'm not totally sure how it would turn out, because I've never used their leather options, and it's really hard to find other reviews that did this customization option. I um, figured if it's an appendix holster and it looks bad, then it doesn't really matter anyway, because it'll pretty much never show. But this does actually look good. So overall, I do think that the ACS is a very, very good holster. My only complaint with it, as I said, uh, comfort a little bit. Uh, now that I'm used to it, it is fine. It did take me a few weeks to really figure out where I want to wear it to be the most comfortable and trying to figure out that wing was a pain and ultimately I just didn't wear it. I really couldn't get that to work out. I think if you can get that wing to work out for your body shape, then this will be an even better option. As it is now, it's a little bit ever so slight printing and I'll, I'll put a video, uh, an overlay right here just so you can see uh, with it on. It's not even that bad anyway, unless you're looking for someone wearing a holster, right? But overall it is quite decent. I suppose my only other complaint about this uh, with Black Rhino in general lately, uh, over the past several months, uh, they take a really, really long time to build the holster. I think I waited a little bit over a month, maybe getting even closer to two months possibly, uh, to get this built from when I ordered it. So very, very slow, unfortunately. But uh, if you can handle the weight, I'd say it's worth it. If you're wanting to urgently start carrying for whatever reason, uh, they do have an expedited option, but even if you expedite it, they're still slower than some other holster makers out there for sure. But thank you all for watching this review on the Black Rhino Concealment ACS Holster. I hope this was informative. Let me know if you have any other questions on this or on anything else in the comments below. Always appreciate them. Take care, and I'll hope to see you all in the next one.